Good morning, uh, Officer James Wells. Uh, shortly after uh, the shots fired call came out, uh, Officer Llewellyn had came over the radio and said I needed everybody here immediately. And uh, just by the tone of his voice, you know, we knew it was serious. And, uh, you know, he said it was a possible bomb situation and that Sergeant Miller was aware. Uh, at the time, I was sitting right next to Officer Toppin, so we, we got over there as quick as we could. Uh, not knowing that the RV was the uh, the vehicle in question at the time, we actually pulled right in front of it. Um, so, you know, this is right across the street, we pulled up. And then when we heard the announcement, uh, Toppin was like, is that is that the vehicle in question? And Llewellyn said yes. We immediately hopped in our cars and bagged out. And then uh, so we started setting up the perimeter. Uh, to start shutting down Commerce and Broadway to make sure nobody could come in or out. And uh, then Llewellyn called for more people to come help uh, evacuate the building, which I did. Uh, at that point is when I heard, uh, you know, you have 14 minutes to evacuate the area. And at that point is when I started to prepare my mind for uh, secondary things to happen. I actually told everybody when we come out to make sure we look at the high ground and the parking garages. just just in case, you know, as I felt like maybe an active shooter might have followed that just because it, it felt, at that moment, it felt real and it felt like there was gonna be some secondary activity. So every time we came out of the building, we made sure that, that we were looking around and, and checking high areas, just making sure nobody was peeking around and looking at us. Um, so we continued to go door to door, trying to get codes from dispatch to get in. Um, we get down a second to commerce and then that's when we hear the three minutes as we coming out of the building. And at that point, I told them I was going to go back to my car and get my heavy plates, just uh, mentally getting prepared for whatever was about to happen. And um, so as I'm getting, putting my heavy plates on, uh, Luella tells me that Sergeant Miller told me to pull my car back because I was actually in the intersection at first. So then I pulled my car back in between the buildings, and um, which is the parking garage and then uh, second of commerce to get out of the blast radius. And uh, at that point, I get out. And I'm starting to go back toward uh, Llewellyn and Hosey. And as I'm getting ready to walk toward them, walking back toward the RV, and I, this might not be politically correct, but this is my truth. And I literally hear God tell me to turn around and go check on Topping, who was by herself down on Broadway. And um, as I turn around, you know, for me, it felt like I only took three steps and then the music stopped. And as I'm walking back toward Topping now, I just see orange and then I hear a loud boom. And uh, as I'm stumbling, uh, cause it, it rocked me that hard and started stumbling. I just tell myself to stay on your feet, stay alive. And I just take out in a full out sprint and I'm running toward Topping to make sure she's okay. And uh, we kind of meet in the middle and we just grab each other, check each other and I'm yelling at her to get her gun out. Cause like I said, I felt like there was going to be some, it just, just had a feeling that, you know, it's just weird. You know, it just felt like something out of a movie. And so we're checking on each other and um, she's, she's asking me, she's telling me that they're trying to raise me on the radio. I couldn't hear. So, um, you know, I just lost temporary um, hearing in my left ear. So as she yelling, I'm you know, saying what and a couple of explicitives tell her I couldn't hear. And, um, and they get me to the uh, paramedics. I call my wife immediately let her know just before anything got out to let her know that I was okay. And while I was in the uh, ambulance, they were trying to get me to go to the hospital. And I just didn't want to be by myself at that moment, didn't want to leave them. And then I heard that there were three people that were injured. So I told the paramedics to take care of them. And I was like, I got per policy, I got 10 days to get checked out. So it's like, y'all go check, y'all go check on them, go check on the civilians. And then um, I immediately went to go find topping um, just kept asking where Topping was, and, and we found her, and that was my part in it.